Welcome back to another video. Today we have Wild Spartans and we st Hi! Okay, very much enthusiastic about Craigslist! Craigslist! <laughs> Today we're gonna be looking at weird stuff on Craigslist. Oh. Bro, what the fuck? You're looking some fucking English essays up in here! I got it, I got it. To the girls whose butthole I saw, man for woman, 31. Oh, is that what that means? <laughs> yeah, man looking for woman. <laughs> Yeah, man looking for a woman. If you look below the map, he's 31. He's a big boy and he's six foot six. God damn. Oh, I didn't even see that detail. Dude, do you go on Craigslist? Like, no, I've, ne I've never hooked up with a prostitute from Craigslist. I want to make that very <laughs> clear. I was sitting in my car doing important things like looking at my phone and wondering if all the pasta diet I am apparently on after my Vaughn shopping trip is healthy. You were in a red car. Specifically, you were in the back seat of a red car, which I assume you were the owner of. I was minding my own business when I noticed your passenger side door was open and I saw a flitter of movement. I looked over and I immediately looked into the depths of your soul. I was able to see so far into your butthole that I know what you had for breakfast this morning. It's weird that you eat poo for breakfast, by the way. Try as I might, I could not look away. You were hastily trying to put on your yoga pants and I was busy oogling your goodies. And it happened. Our eyes locked. You gave me a dirty look normally reserved for the type of person who has made it his goal to see your butthole. That being said, it was not my goal. To be clear, you had the door open. You saw me get in my car, and at no point did it occur to you that maybe, just maybe, you should cover your pooper. That being said, I like the way you are built, and I think we got off on the wrong butthole. <laughs> Maybe we should take this out like civilized adults and see what happens. What Do not this? contact me with unsolicited services or offers. What is this? Who the fuck wrote this? I want to know right now. I don't know. I really think that that like he hit the the gold mine, no pun intended, on that butthole. I just love how it started, dude. Like the first sentence got me. Off. I think my favorite part it. is body big. Oh, he's a big boy. <laughs> But you know what? He's eloquently spoken. He really wants to meet this girl's butthole one more time. I have approximately 275 to 300 cylinder blocks for sale. They are standard <laughs> 8 by 8 by 16. They cost about 175 plus del delivery fees if you buy them somewhere else. I'm asking $1 per block. What a steal. You, you pick them up and you move move them yourself. Please don't waste my fucking time with endless emails. These are plain old cinder blocks for fuck's sakes. You don't need to do any engineering study on the feasibility of using these fucking things as building material. That's what they're for, you fucking idiots. Now listen, we're all busy people here. You want the blocks? Come get the fucking blocks and give me one dollar for every block you take. How fuck hard is that? You don't have to tell me what you're building. I don't give a fuck. I'm not interested in helping you. Build it either way. Why? Because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get these fucking things off my property. So if you want them, get the fuck over here with some money and take them. The next fucking moron that he e emails me with, I'm Billy blah, blah, blah. I was wondering if the answer's no. Okay, the answer's no. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Right. Come get the fucking blocks and build it yourself. If I knew how to masonry, don't you think I'd be using the blocks myself instead of selling them for half fucking price? What the fuck is wrong with you people? The next one of you fucking jackasses that email will be some sob story bullshit is getting his email address added to the new North American Man Slash Boy Love Association mailing list. You want the blocks? Come get the blocks. Don't fuck with me, motherfucker. I got, I got eight shotguns in my basement. Don't fuck Brandon, with me. Brandon, Brandon, that's what? not in the post. Brandon, oh. you have to get, are you two into character now? <laughs> you need to calm down. You have to back away from the situation. <laughs> I'm a little sad the guy didn't put his body type below the images. Just so we know how intimidating he is to fuck with. No, he's like four foot 11. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> sad. He's like a thick boy. Snow removal and breast milk. Hello, I'm very is interested in trying breast milk. Can anyone help? Could help with costs. Age doesn't matter. Could also shovel the snow from your sidewalk. So this person <laughs> wants to shovel snow for breast milk. What a combo. <laughs> Free human size hamster wheel. Free human size hamster wheel. Available for immediate pickup. Can accommodate up to 200 pounds. Fully functional. Not recommended for houses with small children or animals. 50 pounds of shredded newspaper also available. I will not have this in my house any longer. <laughs> Taking appointments to view the wheel this week. 
Sandra Z, ZZZ. Location, Brooklyn. It's not okay to contact this poster with services or other commercial interests. Sandra is fed up with her husband. Is that him? You think that's him in the- uh, I think that's him. That I literally husband? think- I think Sandra t said like, get on the fucking wheel. I'm going to take a picture. I'm putting this on Craigslist. I will not have this in our house You know what? Longer. I bet he's the freak who wanted the fucking wheel. And then like, she's like, you know what? What the fuck's wrong with you? You got weirdo. Wait, hold on. Does the wheel, like, is it actually stationary and it rotates? I mean, I I'm looking- Okay, hold on. Hey. Look, look no, closely. It's, uh, it's on the floor. Look. Look oh, closely the at the floor. pixels on the uh, the left side. There's actually motion blur. That means. <laughs> I mean, look oh at my his god! Arm. Yeah, he's, look at his hands too. There's like a little bit of motion blur. This guy's he's moving. He's in the middle of running right now. His right arm looks like it broke in half. I don't know. It, it's actually kind of <laughs> swole from being on this fucking hamster wheel all day. 1994 Ford EcoLine E150 Cargo, five thousand dollars, driven 135. A uh, thousand miles, automatic transition. Oh, automatic. Hour ago. Does it have any? Does it? Uh, can, do you guys know if it has any heating issues or anything like that? <laughs> Stop. It's Econoline. Stop. I have to know. The dude's on fire. I Wait. mean, damn right, this deal's on fire. Only five grand, one hundred thirty-five k. Those are some nice shoes, bro. Those are bro, some. Bro, shoes are killer. Um, dude, yeah, there's one, shit in the right corner. That shit, dude. It looks like a snake. Wait, you're not leaving that big fucking log in your video, are you? We're <laughs> like... blurring it. We're blurring it. Okay. But we're not letting the okay. audience go through that. For the viewer, for the viewer, it's a fully intact log absolutely tapered right down to the very end half <laughs> submerged in the water and i'm not sure it's pretty fat like i don't know how much of it is actually in the tank already but it's a long boy and i'd be very proud of it i could see why he took a picture <laughs> hello ladies single man here looking for any single women needing place to stay in jacksonville to ride out the hurricane i live alone but hate to sleep alone it's more fun to cuddle hold someone i don't smoke drink or do drugs but for 20 friendly <laughs> <laughs> I have a clean home with room to spare. I'm white, 5'8", 160, blue eyes, and lonely. I've only wanted to be with two women at once, so we can work something out. LOL, you must respond with... 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 with Just fill it with, in. Just fill it in. With... Nice crop, Anna. Uh, it's not my crop, bro. <laughs> Wait, so you're admitting to stealing memes? No. Two thousand Dodge Ram, three thousand five hundred van, eight hundred dollars. Why the fuck is it so long? <laughs> Anyways, Dodge <laughs> Ram, thirty five hundred Ram extended van. This vehicle runs great and has a lot of power. Here's the thing though, I left the keys in the door and some meth head took it. <laughs> My friend saw saw them driving it in the naval base at the end of the end of the <laughs> world. Wait, wait. So we went in there and took it back. <laughs> Sketchy, but in doing so, thrashed the ignition mechanism. So. I have to start it with a knife. <laughs> oh, bullshit. This is a stolen fucking van. That's no, why he has to start it with a knife. Legit. Also, they fucked up the sliding, so it doesn't work anymore. Also, I realized the title got, wait, the title got mailed to my address in Colorado. And no one is living there currently. I'm working on getting a new title mailed here. What this a shitty right? cover-up story for the fact that this totally is a stolen Totally not van. stolen. Yeah, totally okay, so, not stolen. I mean, how are you going to cover up the fact that you stole this van with a story about it getting stolen? Title's like, not even under your name. It's mailed to a different location. You have to start it with a fucking knife. That's why they only want $800 for it. We're an Irish family and my father passed away in April. We're holding a small celebration and life service on Clackamas. Clackamas? <laughs> on July 6th in the afternoon. He was a very funny man and had an amazing sense of humor. I want to honor him with some proper tasteless humor. My idea is to have a little person, dressed as a leprechaun, walk in and deliver the ashes to the front of the room. The leprechaun would accidentally <laughs> trip and spill the ashes, then grab a dustbuster and vacuum them up. <laughs> then take so the dustbuster to the front of the place and place it where the urn would normally go. The ashes would be fake, of course. And it would be super funny. No need for speaking. And the entire gig would only be about 15 minutes. If you're interested or know someone who is a little person that could pull this off, please contact me and we can discuss details. That is so <laughs> fine. I mean, it, the title is definitely honest. Little person for memorial service. And even Anna, why don't you apply? No. You would do just fine. You would do just fine. You're doing great. I would already trip because I'm a fucking broken leg. <laughs> You're perfect. perfect uh, a, not part. only a midget, but a midget with a limp. <laughs> Ray, he is Lufa. <laughs> I'm a pickle. Oh, shut the fuck shut up. The I'm fuck sorry. Up. I'm shut sorry. Up. Don't speak. I've always enjoyed using this loofah, especially for my psoriasis on my back. 
It's clean and has a lot of life left. I grew it myself organically. Bro, that Ooh. is a fucking cattail, I just realized. What? Like like the plant cattails, you know? It's one of these fucking things. It's a it's a cattail. Why is it not on the stick? Uh it fell off. <laughs> <laughs> like, isn't that the whole point? <laughs> I was scrubbing a little too hard, just plopped off. It's still good though. It's got a lot of life left. For sale, used casket, $25. I like how they tried to cross off Houston, but like. <laughs> Due to Harvey Rainstorm's grandma's casket floated up from the surface and it's in pretty good condition. And there's not much grandma left. <laughs> wow. Bring your own pickup truck and some Febreze. <laughs> Oh, God. What is, oh, hey, look on the right. What is that black death sludge seeping out of the fucking casket? Is it's that what's grandma? Left of grandma. Is that <laughs> oh, no. grandma? What oh, the God. fuck happened? So there was a thunderstorm and the grandma just fell out? It, it floated back up. I guess maybe the grave was fresh or something, or I don't, or maybe it just wasn't very hardly packed, but the casket floated up. <laughs> Do all available men. So, I'm single, tired of mingling, and looking to get hitched. Thing <laughs> is, I'm pretty frustrated with the legwork, and my solution is to pass the buck on to my parents and let them go ahead and choose for me. The way it is. Done in the good old days, South Asia. So, if you're a single guy hoping for marriage and kids, not more than two in the future, <laughs> and willing to roll with the punches, let's get your folks on to this too. Here's what I'm thinking. You respond to this with your parental info, which I will pass along to mine. Then I will figure uh, we can just butt out until the wedding. Let's let them hammer out the details, investigate a compatibility, and argue about dowry. Dowry. It's like dowry? they uh, they they gave Ew, you words. money for getting married. <laughs> Me, 26 year old female with a generally positive outlook on life. One salary, three piercings, zero tattoos, one car, one hamster, and one slightly used vagina. Hell yeah! No! <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck yeah, dude! Mom! <laughs> Mom! Can you cut? Mom! <laughs> I'd be willing to consider getting re-virginized if this is a deal breaker for your family. Hold on. I was about to say that's impossible, but they do that. What's how, how this? Can I, dubstep? How, how, do, how do I get one? Dubstep how do I get reactions. One? Uh, first, okay, we, first, you have to take your dick and turn it into a vagina. Okay, okay. One. Next. And then you go to the doctor and say you want to be a virgin again, and we'll do it. Hell yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I'm up walking around pacing about this idea. I prefer um, not to convert to your religion, but I would consider relocation if my travel expense, yada, 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 yada. Looking forward to the big day. <laughs> Guaranteed this woman's extremely attractive, right? Like she's 100% a 10, yeah? Oh, definitely. That's why she totally needs to go to Craigslist to find a man. Yeah. Mm hmm One night stand. I'm moving soon and my room is really empty and lonely. I have a bed in my room and I am looking for one night stand. I prefer black, but a- I bet you I, do. But, <laughs> but a darker brown will do. I would also like to be unique. Not some plain nightstand you would pick for, up from Walmart. Oh, confused, they're you? looking for a nightstand. Oh my yeah. god! They're looking for a little. That, you only get like, that the last I, fucking sentence. I had I had the connotation in my head that it was a one nightstand. So like everything con everything confused me. I know. That was the point. And I saw Walmart and I was like, who the fuck picks up chicks at Walmart or dudes at Walmart? Like who's like, hey, what are you doing here, sexy? You come to Walmart often, like. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, just read the post. You don't have to be judgmental about other people's lifestyles. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, Weiss! Charge up, J-O, 38, Houston. The crystal I wear around my neck contains an essence that gets recharged when I jack it with a bro who also has crystal. It gives me confidence at work, home, social situations, etc. Nobody knows it's a J-O crystal, but me and my bros. I've seen it glow white while jerking it with a bud. That's how I know it's real. Uh, you can come over for as long as you want, but I need a picture of you preferably wearing a crystal before I waste my time. Now, hold on one second. And this guy's not wearing a goddamn crystal in the photo. Oh, true. But you know it's him, though, because he's got a barbed wire tattoo, and that's indicative. <laughs> I love the stance that he's doing. Like, you guaranteed. <laughs> Look at the stance. Alexa, lights on. It's just me tripping. Or maybe. <laughs> Who's one? Oh, okay. It's just me tripping. Are you female and can puke on command? $100. In search of female who can puke on command. Reply for details. Quick and easy gag. You know what? Uh, I was you about to what? say gag. I was about to say Okay. I'm a kick. 
I've okay. never seen a puke fetish before until now. I have. You want to see? <laughs> I have a link to a video personally of a girl and a guy having dinner, eating a ramen buffet, and then she takes a pill that makes her throw up, and then she... I have the video. <laughs> no! no! Thank you. Nope. Nope. I'm no. linking it. <laughs> no, please. Come on, guys. Don't be weird. Hey, can we just... Don't be I weird! Just, I just want... Don't hold be up. weird! I just want everyone Weast. to know... I want everyone to know that Weast has a puking fetish video on basically speed dial. Free apartment for female. No pick, no response. Free stay up up to six months for one female in a, in a one bedroom apartment located in North, North Druid Hills Road. Must be very clean, no pets. Oh, and you then, are going to get abducted and, in and one easy step. Literally yeah, and, and so easy to get abducted. Free means nice trades. Nice, nice little trades. You sound like a villain from Rick and Morty. <laughs> Let's not let, let's yeah. not let's not make this any any harder than it than it has to be here. Let's just get in the apartment and then you give me what I want and then we go our separate ways. <laughs> That's so true. Room share. Please read everything before sending a reply. Move in ASAP. Six hundred fifty dollars, all utilities included. That's actually a steal. Short term, <laughs> one to three months only. You, male roommate, minimal belongings, not breathing furniture. An air mattress will be provided. Clean. Non-smoker, no drugs, like to stay fit, lift, go to the gym regularly, 21 to 35. About me, straight male, clean, responsible, quiet, works out regularly, non-smoker. Ideal roommate is chill about nudity and masturbation in the open. This is a room <laughs> share, not a private room, and it would just make things easier. This has worked nicely with past roommates. I am a straight male. Please indicate whether you're cool with this in your reply. I just want to say I don't think that guy's straight. No, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this is one of those guys who's like I'm totally fucking straight. Can we watch each other like jerk it just a little bit? <laughs> hey hey hey, maybe maybe at some point if you're comfortable, we can just like we can just try jerking each other off. Like you know, homo. Like we're not gay. We're obviously straight men. There's no there's no gayness here. And then we'll see where it goes. Okay, this is what I I need to know. Why does his roommate have to also share his lifestyle of choices like going to the gym and shit? But if but. it's a like okay. Why does he need to go to the gym with you? Not only does he have to be cool watching you jerk off, he also has to watch you work out. This guy spot legit wants a boyfriend, all right? <laughs> Literally, legit. this guy is so closeted, it hurts. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 <laughs>